students are the ones who have the most at stake when it comes to school resegregation, but they're often the least heard. Um, we don't hear what they want or what their experiences are like, so I thought it was important to give them a chance to show what race and education was like for them um, and to document their own experiences. And I just thought that with these great photos that they shot, that it just seemed perfect for an exhibit. And it's a great way to display their work, but also invite people in to look and to have a conversation. Our sort of role as an organization is to have an impact and, if possible, to do things that bring about change. Well, if the conversation ends at the story, we haven't done our job. It took someone else from a, a totally different environment to come here and interview us and get us to document through pictures our stories. So I definitely think that this is a great opportunity for change. If you want to grow, you have to start somewhere. And it really started positive thinking. Um, I got more, what can we do to make it better? And, and to me, that was the most important thing about the project. When you actually have to hear the students and look into their eyes and hear their voices and their experiences, that's not political in any way. That's just the truth. When the story came out, I was very surprised that we got a chance to actually speak about it because no one ever came out and said, oh, segregation still exists. And so you would never think of it unless you just take a moment and really think that we are not together with like other students or other people behind. The main point is that someone stood up and said they just get fixed and change it. I wanted to say that even though James said that there were we really do get along pretty well, there is a, a small percentage of people that could be some improvement. <laughs> yes, I'm very proud of my school because even though the society makes it seem like we don't do our work and we're bad kids, we actually have like we have an international black backlog school and we have those classes and I feel like I feel like there's going to be a change. Like now that this project is out, I feel like that something positive is going to come out of it. You have a voice. So I am so proud of you all. Because, and as adults, we have to listen to the kids, or young adults, soon to be. We have to watch them. And we have to be supportive of them. As a black teacher, I'm supportive of all my students. We can't segregate as teachers as school officials, as a community, because then that sends a message to our kids that, hey, they're doing it, so why should we not try to work together? There's been a lot of ignoring what's, what is happening, and now people are actually having a conversation about it, and I think that's pretty awesome.